So you may have just picked up your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now this is a tremendous phone. It's probably one of the best phones that you can buy in the market right now. And I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular device. Now if you're brand new to Samsung's, it's a really good phone, but the very, very first thing I'd recommend doing is to go through and basically put a screen protector on your phone and put a case on your phone. It doesn't matter what case, it doesn't matter what screen protector, even if it's a 10 cent screen protector, just install it, just go through, keep it on. It's much better to go ahead and have those particular you know, screen protectors and cases on your phone rather than not doing it because it's an expensive phone. You might want to protect you know, your investment. Now on the front side, you're getting a massive size display. It's a really good size display. It's 120 hertz. On the front side right up here, you are getting your front camera, getting your microphone holes and all those things throughout it. On the left side of this phone, you can see we just have our antenna band right at the very top left. At the bottom, we have our S Pen, which is like our stylus. I'll show you that in a second. You're getting your USB Type-C port, getting SIM card jack tray, so you can go through and take out your SIM card tray, tray and uh, insert another one there if you want to. You have your power button right here, and you have your volume up and down buttons right there as well. So that's something that's actually very, very cool. You do have that type of capability of clicking these buttons and you know moving your things up and down, so you can adjust the volume that way. On the back side, you have your quadruple camera setup right here which is very interesting. You have your LiDAR sensor up there as well. You have a frosted glass back with wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is another really cool thing. And you're definitely getting like some really good capability here. I think this is a really, really nice phone. And I definitely do think if you're going to go through and pick up a device, this is actually pretty cool in and of itself. So I think that in and of itself is a very cool thing. Now, if you go ahead and unlock your phone, you can see you can power it on a few different ways. You can double tap on the display right here or you can click on the side button, the power button to enable it, and you'll come into your lock screen. Now the lock screen is pretty cool because it shows you your time, your date, some quick toggles at the bottom. You can also hold down on the lock screen like this. You'll be able to go through and essentially, you know, customize your lock screen even more. So this is something that's actually pretty cool. You can go through and, you know, use it as you normally would. You can go ahead and, you know, kind of adjust your time up here. You can go and make this bigger or smaller depending on what you want to do. You can change your font color, your style, you can change up your wallpapers, you know, your quick toggles at the very bottom. And that's kind of what it is, right? So you can go and click up here. You can also change your styling of these things as well, which is really cool. You can see we have our time that we can change. This is a pretty, you know, thorough, you know, application. Like you can go and customize a lot of stuff here. So I'd recommend going through having fun with it because it is a really cool thing that you can basically do here. Now swiping up, you'll come into your home screen. So your home screen is always going to be stagnant. So you can always have different pages. You'll have the Google feed news on the side right here. But whenever you click the home button, you'll always come up here. Now, if you go and take a look right up here, at the very top, you'll have your time in the top left. You will basically have your Wi-Fi signal and battery life in the top right. You'll have all these different widgets and everything right here too, which is genuinely very awesome. You'll have your search bar right up here. So you can you know, do searches and then you'll have like other applications and your dock at the middle, which always stays the same. Now, if you want to, you can move these widgets around. You can hold down on a widget and move it around like this. You can also hold down on a widget if you want to, to go ahead and remove it and delete it. So you can just hold it down like this, click on the remove button, and you have that type of capability there too. So that's something that's actually very cool. Now, if you swipe up, you'll basically come into all the applications you have inside of your phone, and you can see all the apps that you have. Not all of them will be associated as soon as you go and boot up your phone on your, on your home screen. So kind of keep that in mind so you can go through and kind of mess around with it here and you have that type of capability. Now swiping down from the top left, you'll get your notification drawer. So this is where all your notifications will be. If you get any texts or messages or anything like that, all those will basically come up right here, right? Now if you swipe down from the top right, you'll come into your quick toggles. So this is something that's actually very interesting as well. So you can start to see all those quick toggles here. If you ever want to modify, you know, your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth without, without going into your settings, you can go right into here and you can modify all those things right up here, which again is a really cool thing to have. So your sound, your brightness, all those things can basically be configured right here. Now swiping back up, now we can get into some other interesting stuff. Now you have your nav bars at the bottom. So if you ever open up an application, right, like messages if you want to text people, and if you want to come back home, you can just click on the home button right here and it will take you right back home. If you go inside of an application and you want to go back to a previous page or a previous app or like a previous page or a previous page within the app, 
you can click on this back button right here and it will take you right back home. Now on top of that, if you go through and if you essentially you know, want to go into your recents panel, like all the recent applications you've opened, you can tap into this recents tab right here and you can start to see all the recent applications that you basically open up. So you can go through, see all those recent types of applications. You can kind of modify them from there. You can kind of see them. And that is another thing you can basically do here too. So you can click back home to kind of exit out of that. Now, the S Pen is something that's really cool that the S24, S25 Ultras, and the S24 Ultras basically had as well. So you can take out the S Pen by basically tapping into this button. So click into it, and it's a little button that basically comes out. So what you can do is slide this button out just like this, and you will see you'll get this little prompt for the S Pen. So now what you can do is you can start using this S Pen as you normally would. So now if you want to, you can go through and basically tap into this S Pen just like this. You can follow prompts with it. And you have this type of really cool capability now. Now if you want to, you can use this as a normal stylus. So as you swipe through, you can see it's a standard stylus, the way it looks. You have your button at the end that you can kind of click into. You have also a little button right there, which you can click into as well. So that gives you a little bit more like air controls or air gestures. So if you hold it over and if you kind of like hold it over the display and you kind of click into it, you have that type of capability, so that is something that's cool. Now within the stylus itself, you can see you have all these different types of you know tools that you can select. So you have drawing assist, you have AI select, you have create note, and you have screen write. So these are different types of configurations that you basically have. So you can tap on one, like if you want this one, this like a Galaxy Eye Advanced feature, whatever, you can enable it if you want to. You're gonna have to log into your Samsung account. But you can go through and kind of modify it that way as well, which I think is really cool. You can then go through and even like with AI select, you can select something within the display itself and you can go and have, you know, kind of find more information about this. It's basically like Google Lens almost. So it is actually something that's really cool as well. So you can go through and kind of modify that as well. And then you have things like create a note. If you want to quickly create a note, you can go through and just quickly write, write down something if you want to. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing. You can just go through right here, tap on high, so you can go do that as well. So that's something that's really awesome. And then at the very end right here, you have the screen write option too. And you can also click on add and you can start adding these other basically shortcuts to your S Pen dialog here as well. So that is something that's really cool here too. You can kind of mess around with that whichever way you want to. You click on the home button right here and you'll basically come back home. Now, if you want to go and charge this thing, this thing charges basically just by being plugged into here, which is really cool. And also if you turn off the phone, right, if your S Pen is connected, if your S Pen's connected, right, and if you want to quickly write a note, you can also just tap into this note right here. You can pull this thing out, and then you can start writing a note on your display, like, immediately. So that is something that's really, really cool. Just, like, immediately from booting up your phone, you have that type of capability right there, which is actually very awesome. So I think that in and of itself is another really cool thing that you can basically kind of mess around with and see from that particular situation as well. So the last thing I kind of want to demonstrate is your settings application. So if you hop out of here and if you go right into your settings app, you should be able to see this panel that comes up. What I would recommend doing is going down and basically just understanding your settings. Because there are a lot of little tiny settings I'd recommend going in and kind of like understanding and kind of getting used to. Because there are a lot of things here that you might want to go through and just kind of you know understand when you're going through and using your settings. So go through, just kind of understand them. The big setting I would recommend everyone to kind of get used to is software update. So go through and just see if you have a software update available. And every once in a while, just come into here and just try seeing if you can software update your device because there might be a software update available for you and you might just have to go through and update your phone and that might end up you know, fixing those types of problems for the most part. So that is basically how you use the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. It's a very good phone, probably one of the best phones you can buy. And hopefully you're an expert at using this phone now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.